Alright, share love to here, and we're checking out the Garden of Anime Delights on Core Games. This one's by Team No Limit, which includes Yanni Mound on art and coding by and UI by Luapi. A really talented team of uh, individuals here. You can see when we pop into this game, we're in this nice little painting room exhibiting looks like some of Yadni's digital art so looks like he's a well-rounded artist he even has some digital paintings that he's done here definitely harken back to some of the classics we also have a painting of Her Hieronymus Botch I believe this painting is a three panel painting and you could kind of see the edge of the, the other two panels in in the painting here, um, very cool style painting. Really um, interesting story uh, with him too. Over here we got the team themselves, Yanni and Luapi. Pretty cool looking. I'm not really sure what this one's t all about. The Lost Twin. And then over here we got two cute little uh, digital paintings by Luapi's daughter, Co Coco T Tevio. All right, I probably pronounced that horribly, but really nice paintings. Like I don't know how his, how old his daughter is, but those are pretty impressive. And over here we've got Chrome Guts. This looks like an album cover. Uh, really feels like it would be like a Red Hot Chili Peppers uh, cover or something like that. Interesting. Interesting art there too. So we're gonna hop into the main game. So what we want to do is stand here and you can see there's a progress bar moving moving along at the bottom there. Alright so we're gonna press F it's going to load us into the main game. Really cool little loading screen with a Totoro. So a lot of this art is Studio Ghibli inspired. Um, it was made for the anime, ja anime jam. I also made a lot of these characters. I made this Radish Spirit uh, as well as, and the Scarecrow. But yeah, really well done art in here. Um, Yanni's a very talented artist, has done a lot of cool projects on on Core. And I've already discovered a lot of these art installations, but normally if you haven't seen them yet, you could walk up to them and press F. So we're going to take a look through here. So you can see I, I hadn't looked through this telescope yet. So that's showing me something new. And yeah, there's hidden stuff all over the map to find. Uh, really, really cool. See, I really like how you could interact with them. And it kind of gives you a, a, a better view of the character. So some really cool camera work done with the characters here. These are tricky to, to catch because they're moving so fast. What, the first time you find them, you're gonna, you're, I guess, stand in the right spot and then, oh, I don't think I have that pig yet. So let's see if we could get that little pig on the next pass by. The piggy pig. Look at him go. Oh, it's a muscular little pig, I'll tell you. <laughs> what is that? My goodness. It's got it's playing a fart flute or something? That is a strange looking character. That's really funny. I look at Luapi's head or, or was it, sorry, Yanni's head. Looks like from the <laughs> Like, listen to these sound effects. It's so odd. 
we can instantly mount in this game so we press G and then it pulls out right away so if you're looking to get around the map quick that's a good way the glider flyer so we're gonna take a look at the tycoon area so we have our own farm and house that we could build as well as farm for resources you could see I don't I don't think I've ever seen this greenhouse before this must be something new hmm interesting guess we could grow stuff in there I like how it brings you to a different area like this um, yeah that's interesting pretty cool so is this my lot so it is my home so we get a greenhouse on our, our lot now hmm very cool so you can see I haven't built built up very much um, it has a whole bunch of crafting we could see we have crafting we have different seeds we could plant um, take a look in at our inventory doesn't want to seem to pop out. Okay. F1. Press zero to see all your current and completed objectives. I'd open the inventory window, which doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Press C to open the crafting window. Can always reopen this tutorial by pressing F1. Home garden lot with your name on it awaits you in the village. Hmm, look at that aerial view. It almost the pass all almost look like a spider. Pretty close. Uh see Kataki in the center of the village to build your house. Click on the village stores to see what they have available to sell or buy. They are essential for your progression. You ra you raise garden and your greenhouse is where your okay your raised garden and your greenhouse is where you will be able to plant your crops once you've completed all your objectives the rebirth icon will become available to you the leaderboards are located to the village next to the village think you can do better than the other players probably not and you can teleport to the village or home with using O or T okay So it's a pretty good uh, layout for pretty good layout for the um, tutorial there. All the hints were short and to the point. Looks like we haven't. I'm surprised I haven't talked to all these people yet. They continue doing a lot of work on this game after the uh, anime jam as well. So I played it around when, when it came out for the jam. But I could definitely tell they've done a lot of work since. Let's take a look at the leaderboards. Let's see if... Let's see who's up on the top. Most coins earned. Tambles way up there in first place second only to Yadni Mound uh, the artist for the game and Luapi's down there in fifth alright let's see oh it's Jackie's on the board Tazuki Trashbird alright so definitely recognizing some of these names on here a lot of them are talented creators. Um, some of them are just our players. Some of them are people I've never heard of before. But very, very cool. And I mean, just look at the art. Look at the colors, everything, the sky. I mean, they knocked it out of the part with park with the uh, the art in this game. 
And Luapi definitely knows what he's doing when it comes to the animation. Um, did a really good job animating all these models and having them interactable. These are some cool looking trees. Hey, look at look at the coloring on them. Very interesting looking. And uh, all these sticks on the ground. At a qu at a quick glance, it gives you the idea that they're roots of the trees, but they're actually just branches on the ground. So that was a a nice touch, right there. Let's go exploring around. Uh, I know there is some um, secret stuff. There's definitely an invisible border, um, so at a certain point, it'll stop you. Looks like there's a beehive hanging on this tree here. I know there's a camp. There's like a campground. Uh, I think it was like from a former summer jam or something like that. Whoa. Sorry, y'all. Well, we're just getting a face full of branches and leaves there. Yeah, so this is definitely a game I've come back to a couple times to explore the map. I'm not super big on uh, farming tycoons. Like, I do enjoy them, but they're very t very time consuming and uh, I don't have a ton of game a time to dedicate strictly to gaming I like to be in the editor if I can be this big dude he is buff let me tell you um, Very cool classic uh, anime character right there. Maybe one of the most classic characters. I think dates back to like the 1970s or something like that. Hal's Moving Castle. Very cool. And there was a couple of these done for the Anime Jam. I saw saw one other creator also um, did a version of Hal's Moving Castle. Really fantastic movie. I can't I can't um, overstate how good Studio Ghibli's movies are. Um, e even if you're not into um, anime I think a lot of people that aren't even in, into anime enjoy those movies so if you're looking for um, some movies to maybe change your mind on anime I would definitely suggest Studio Ghibli very positive very uplift uplifting um, you know we don't get a lot of that so we get a lot of negativity uh, unfortunately and a lot of sometimes mean-spirited stuff in in movies and in media and uh, I think Studio Ghibli is definitely one of those companies that um, goes the other way with it and really looks looks at the looks at the more positive side you know and it has sad moments definitely too but um, on the most part people are very nice to each other it's like a really nice world that they create in those movies but yeah this is definitely definitely an amazing project um, I love the artwork, the terrain's well done. Um, if you're into farming and building and crafting and all that, there's a lot for you to sink your teeth into here. Uh, it's very enjoyable, it has a good set of leaderboards. 
the the creators are really nice guys. Um, they're often on Discord. Um, yeah, nothing but nice things to say. Let's talk to this little girl. Look how cute she is. Like she it looks like she's getting ready for a hug, and I would give her a hug. She's she needs a hug. That that little cutie. Oh, we missed missed some, and you can see you could earn coins from uh, looking at the different models. And yeah, I definitely look forward to more projects out of these two guys because um, everything I've played from them has just been really, really, really cool. They also, uh, Yadni had done a, um, I, I guess, I think it was a Luapi too, actually. They they had d did a Christmas Jam um, game that was very, very impressive too. I think th they might have, they might have won that one. Um, had a re really cool penguins, you're in like a kid's bedroom. Uh, very, very cool project. And as a fellow artist, I, I can't say how much, uh, I can't express enough how much I appreciate the level of detail and the amount of models that they've put into this. There's just so much to explore, so much to interact with. Um, yeah, really blew me away when, when they put this game out and it still blows my mind away now. Uh, like, look at this. Chocobo. And uh, how awesome does that Chocobo look? Now this style of muscles, this is this is really interesting to look at. I think he, it looks like he uses a lot of spheres of different sizes and uses the spheres to build out his models. So that's a, a an interesting um, interesting way to go about it. I also am a big fan of using basic shapes. So gets my gets my thumbs up. Got some long thin beans there on the the wings. And yeah, a really cool project to check out. So we'll stop there for for today. So that was the Garden of Anime Delights on Core Games. I wish you all a great day and we'll catch you in the next video. Share love out.